Hey YouTube, so um, back again, finally some more server related content, and um, yeah, today is this router, I can't even remember if I made a video on this at one point, um, if I did, I guess this is part two, but I actually have parts in now um, for it, which I ordered, I do need to order um, some jumpers for this front panel connector, because it's a proprietary um, super micro uh, thing, because this is just a super super micro case um, that I ripped the parts out of because it was DDR2 um, stuff like that. So um, yeah, I have my over here is my R210, which is Plex, um, and I have a network card in that that I'm just going to rip out. It was just in there for storage. Let's get started unboxing. Hopefully this fits. Um, so obviously I haven't tested it at all. We have a 1U, hopefully, heatsink. So, comes with no instructions, but um, I'm sure I can figure this out. So we'll do the heatsink first and then we'll do the network card. So. Ah, I assume these have to go on the back of the board. Contacts in the way, I don't know how you can see that. But, oh, yeah, <laughs> so, I guess this is a lesson of don't buy $2 thermal paste from eBay. on this cable is, but probably not that. Oh well. This is a build full of don'ts. Now all this 
it on. What does hashtag? Yep, it fits. Okay. I'm gonna take that off. And I'm gonna go grab a monitor and power cables and the like. Hopefully we don't fry it, but who knows? Interesting video either way, I guess. So I've made this place a mess and just drop that on there. Right. Okay, let's see. We give me some. Just the power switch. Here we go, so oh boot device. So I guess I gotta um basically go through um I'll just get into the BIOS do a quick check and then next video I guess will be Installing PF sense on this new router. So I have one gigabit, I think, gigabit port in here, and then four gigabit ports here. Um, so yeah, I can't remember, like two or four gigs of RAM or something, four gigs I think, and uh, two 250 gig hard drives. Um, just because I have them, so I might as well throw them in a uh, like RAID 1 type thing. There you go, I guess. So, we're getting like 36 degrees CPU. I don't actually have a system fan in here. The way these servers originally came is they had a fan right here and um, a sort of shroud over to this fan there. But because of uh, obviously there was a 775 CPU heatsink and these are, this has RAM and stuff in the way, that wouldn't work. So, I'm blowing a fair bit of air out there. It's not too loud, but um, wouldn't want to, you know, sleep next to it or anything. Well, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, see you in the next video, I guess. Uh, leave a like, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this.